Good news for small business. You will reach millions of viewers 24-7 anytime, anywhere, locally and internationally. Tell the world who you are, what you do and where you are. In just one click, we will produce your video and host it on BizLive Web. Let's get started today. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, is none other than Swami Siva Yogananda, who is the spiritual head of the Saiva Siddhanta Sangam, of which there are 22 branches throughout the country. Aya, could you please make your way up, Nandri? Brahma Sri Siva Subramani Guru Swami Guru Tirupayalalum, Siva Nariyaragalakkum, Siva Bhaktirgalakkum, Periyor Gulakkum, Petrol Gulakkum, Arumai Pilla Gulakkum, Enna Thu Ullan Kanitha Vanakkathe Naan Aliyan Thiriluthu Kolakindren. Today I am going to look at the pathway of Saivism. Guru Swamikul has come to this world to act as our guide and our spiritual master. He was here for our benefit to give us the opportunity to learn the truth and to establish foundations for our spiritual growth. What is this master telling us in this Pratane Noon? Ulegir, Ulegir, Pittulegi, Sitanda, Vidye, Kandiro. O people of this world, people of this world, steeped in the madness of this world, have you discovered the pathway of Sitanda? And this is the pathway that Guru Swami propagated. In another Viruttam, he says, Karunaya Vadivana Karunya Mamuni Putta De In this particular Viruttam, Karunaya Vadivana Karunya Mamuni Putta De Varadu Inba கொண்ட <laughs> Tayana Saiba Mevalarka Marupadi Yum Vandum Marupadi Yum Vandum. In this beautiful Varatam, Guru Swami talks about the three mainstream religions. He talks about the good words of Lord Jesus Christ, the noble words of Buddha, and the loving words of Jesus Christ. But Having said that, he says, he talks about this movable muligal. He says, having said that, he says, Tayana Saiva me varukka marupadiyam vandum. He said, but I have come back to re establish Saivism. And what Saivism? He says, Tayana Saiva me varukka marupadiyam. I have come to re establish the mother of all religions. And that's what Guru Swami will establish here yeah, in this song. And in, in another hymn, he says, Ulaga virgala ungal udal arayum unne nalame nadi ni sivane torungale Siva siva yeneve tunbangal turikkume Siva siva yeneve tondrum nams siva mange. Yeah, the, the master is saying, before your body perishes, Adore the Supreme Sivabharuman. 
And he says, recite the name Siva Siva and all your miseries, your pain and your suffering will vanish. And in the same hymn, he goes on to say, Siva me ivulagum, saiva me me chamayum. He says, Siva is the world and Saivism is the true religion. And that's what the master is establishing in this particular song. More often than not, as an educator, coming from an educator's point of view and from a spiritual point of view, uh, we look at the concept of forgiveness. More often than not, our Christian brothers and sisters would go to the pastor or the priest and then they will do the forgiveness behind the curtain. We as Saivites, how do we look at the concept of forgiveness, the mistakes that we commit, either knowing or unknowing? From your point of view, could you give us some guidance? Firstly, we do make mistakes. And every wrong act, it's like, as you sow, so shall you reap. Right? Karma is like that. So whatever wrong act you do, uh, let's put it this way, we enjoy the fruits of our good action, we suffer the consequences of our bad action. So every bad action, if anything that is wrong, you're going to accumulate bad karma for yourself. It's like a bank account, it goes up and down. Every time you do something bad, uh, your karma goes big, every time you time to good, you start uh, mitigating the amount of karma. But when we Every time we start doing more and more good, we start mitigating more and more. And even an apology, when you deal with something that you have done wrong, when you deal with it in a positive way, that is a positive attempt to diminish the karma. Even that forgiveness and that apology is seen in that spirit. Thank you so much. Yes, Mr. Kati Mutsami. As you said, that you have 23 centers, and we uh, admire the work done by these centers. How do the teachings of your Sangha fit into this? Or does the individu our individual beliefs divide us? More than 90% of every religion is good. I think we can share the same uh, beautiful values. We as Hindus or Saivites, we can still share the values of Christianity, Islam, because um, the, the bigger, the, the, the greater amount of values are the good for everybody. It is only a, a small amount of philosophical difference that exists between religions. And for, for us, the, the philosophical difference is not relevant to... Um, to, to, to create a conflict and uh, to create a, a war between us. I have a question, Swami, and forgive me for my ignorance. See, when I was a child, they taught me uh, that there has been Niger, and he has the elephant head, as my parents taught me. And I heard about Muruga. I also heard about it. Now, as I grew up, as you rightfully said, we take a uh, a girl with a doll, as she grows up, she looks at other things and so forth. I also grew up, I try to understand, yes, it's Vinayaga, yes, it's Muruga. Well, I still believe it. But then I was told, look, man, you as a young boy were taught rituals when you were young. You must do the rituals, you must cut the black cat, you must cut the black fowl, all those things. Then they told me afterwards, no, but this is Vinayaga, this is what you must believe in it. I'm believing in it. But now I have a problem, Swami, because I've reached a state where they said you must Look at, what's it? Philosophy. So I become scared. You know I become scared of something. I'm saying, okay, when I, when I was small, they taught me these small things. I'm still following the path of God, and I hope I'm, I am. I'm not less, uh, or I'm not bad because I don't believe in cyberism. I go to Sivan Irubu, I spend my night there. Whether people like me or don't, I'm still there. But the question is, is there anything wrong in me still continuing those practices? The point I want to make is, in our spiritual life, there's two things we need to understand. One, there is philosophy. The second one is mythology. Okay. Years in, in India, when they were teaching religion, 
There are no holes like this. They should go under a tree to, to get shade. And in, under the tree, they used to disseminate their wisdom. And because you can't talk to children and even adults in, in a philosophical term, because of the condition they found themselves, they created stories. And the stories behind the philosophy is the mythology. They are only stories. So the story is intended to convey the picture of the philosophy. But unfortunately, with all communication, if I go tell this mother something, she says the same thing to the next person and goes on. By the time it goes to the back, the message that I gave will be totally different to the message you received in the last person. And in the religion, it happened exactly the same thing. Good news for small business. You will reach millions of viewers 24-7, anytime, anywhere, locally and internationally. Tell the world who you are, what you do and where you are. In just one click, we will produce your video and host it on BizLive Web. Let's get started today.